president. Ladies and gentlemen, I've had the honor of meeting the visionary who has spent over four decades of his life to build institutions of learning as the co-founder of the Pillai Group of Institutions and Chairperson Management Board, Mahatma Education Society, Dr. Daphne Pillai. As a proactive and supportive partner to Dr. Pillai's vision, Dr. Daphne Pillai sees herself as both a custodian of old world values as well as an initiator of new generation change. In fact, she's also responsible for many collaborative programs with reputed universities in U.S. A very warm welcome to you, sir. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have all gathered here for the launch of an unprecedented piece of work titled Education, Education, The Dream of an India Empowered. Now, the book is a culmination of a journey that has created 48 institutions and also employed over 2,000 teachers and have also taught more than 30,000 students annually. So, ladies and gentlemen, I now humbly invite Dr. Pillai to please share his journey with all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Pillai. Dr. Vimkar, Dr. Mrs. Uh, Daphne Pillay, Mr. Masban, Mr. Abhisar and Rajesh of the IBH, honorable members of the press, uh, invited guests, and ladies and gentlemen. A concept which uh, has been very dear to me and also very well understood by me is the word edination. It's a word which I have coined because I felt during the last over 40 years, I've been building institutions from schools to junior colleges to degree colleges and went to remote areas like Penvale and Rasayani I built institutions and I found that the socio-economic changes that have been taking place there and what kind of changes we could bring into the community. Therefore, I felt that education is a concept which has to be understood well in the country and uh, it should not be that uh, we are just uh, making India. We should also make for India and uh, the donation has to be created along with Make for India, not only in manufacturing lines, but also in education. And uh, we have almost one crore, 10 lakh children born in the country every year. And it is a responsibility to create schools for these children. We have not able to, we have, we have, we have not been able to constructively create schools or infrastructure required by these children. However, from 1970 onwards, we were not able to do anything at all. So therefore, we have almost about 65% of the Indian population failing from 7th standard to 8th standard to 10th standard to 12th standard. And uh, therefore, we have more of uh, school dropouts and we have not been able to prevent this though we are, all of us are talking about it all through these years. It is in this spirit that I thought of uh, writing this book, uh, conveying my experiences during the last 40 years. I have created uh, these concepts and therefore uh, it would be in the fitness of things that People must read it and uh, make edination a wo workable concept. Edination, educate all the children born in this country at the primary level, secondary level, junior college level, degree college level, and for research and development. And this book will be an aid for all the parents, to the press, to the media, to all the people who build community at large. Thank you very much for coming this uh, for this function and also hearing me and also you all have this book with you and I hope you would uh, read it and I'm thankful to 
our chief guest for accepting my invitation on behalf of the IBH publishers and distributors. And I thank you very much. Thank you. Gathering. Can we have a warm round of applause, ladies and gentlemen? Dr. Pillay, Dr. Mrs. Pillay, uh, wonderful people and members of the press. I feel very ironical that a person who got never more than 35% marks in his exams ever is invited to be the chief guest of a book called Education. But I think I'm, I learned from life and I learned the importance of education as I grew older, as I grew up, as I saw life beyond cinema and acting. Peter John Ji, Namaskar. I feel that half, more than half, I mean 70% problems of people or poor people for that matter uh, in life is the lack of education. And people like uh, uh, Dr. Pillay who are pioneers in providing education, also education has become a business unfortunately for a lot of people. And I'm thankful that the kind of work that you are doing is phenomenal and is so uh, awe-inspiring. I came from a small town. At that time, it was a small town. Now, it's a huge city, Simla. Uh, I went to a Hindi medium school. Uh, my father was earning 90 rupees per, per month. The only thing he said that I would want you to go to the school. And me and my brother will make sure that something or the other, our bell used to ring at 9.30, so 9.25 we used to, till 9.25 we used to have stomach ache, headache, and 9.35 life was beautiful. But somehow we both uh, managed to uh, become graduates, but for me there was much more uh, to achieve. So I took an education in... Uh, in, in the art of theatre, in the art of cinema, I took education. I, a person who got not more than 38% marks in the formal education, I was very happy to get a gold medal in drama department, then three years diploma course in, uh, uh, in acting again from the National School of Drama. And the most important thing that I did in my career was not the achievements that I achieved as actor for awards and everything was to open an acting institution in, in Bombay. Because the joy of impart, imparting knowledge is so phenomenal, is so wonderful. The joy of giving and the best thing about being a teacher in acting is that you learn while teaching. You discover that you know a lot and unknowingly uh, Whenever I get an award, I thank all my teachers because the kind of values unknowingly again they installed in me or instilled in me was uh, fantastic. I, I remember one of my teachers, Rita Ganguly, uh, was my movement teacher in drama school. She was a dance teacher, an abstract dance teacher. And I used to hate her class because I am very bad at dancing and she used to hate me. <laughs> she used to say that she will put me in the last row whenever there will be an exam for dance movement. These were not regular dance, we had to do some uh, absurd dancing. But I was very cheeky. So she will put me on the fourth row and on the day of the exam I will spoil the whole choreography and dancing, dancing will come in the front row. But today, I must admit that whatever I am as an actor as in terms of body language, in terms of uh, my, my stances, in terms of my characterization, the first person I thank is Rita Ganguly. Education, I, I've gone through your graph, sir. I think the way you started, you have to be a passionate person to give so much. You have to be a person who is... Hi. Hello. Okay. Okay. I hope. 